Well, that's amazing. <laughs> that worked way better than I thought it would. If you're new to Tesla turbines and you don't quite know how they work, let me briefly explain it. As air or steam passes over a surface, there's a tiny amount of friction. So by having lots of plates like this, you create a lot of surface area that creates a lot of air friction. So in theory, we've created a bladeless turbine and doesn't have some of the inefficiencies conventional turbines have, which at least in theory means that these reach much higher RPMs. What's also quite interesting is even though these plates are buckled, there's a lot of inconsistency as I turn that around. When this is up to high speed, the centrifugal forces, you know, that's like the G-force, if you like, actually forces everything to be straight. I wonder if you can see it if I just blow it on it again. You should be able to see those plates like self-align. 